So the plan is to make a loo from scrap wood and I made two of them actually. I have another video with the small one but here I'm gonna go through the big one. Here we have the big frames setting the size of the, the loo. I'm later gonna use uh, a separate coming to that. Here we have the sides uh, holding the, the frames together. I'm just uh, gluing them with the regular wood glue and uh, yeah, here I'll show you. Uh, the, the wood is uh, reusable that I found from scrap. So I'm sanding it down, getting a nicer feeling, but tr trying to keep the rustic look. And this is going to be a side panel, sort of like a 90 degree uh, edge. So I'm first putting on some wood glue and then I'm going to attach them with small nails. So trying to align the, the sides and hammering away. I'm going to do this in a little faster. I'm hammering away here. So here I'm gluing the sides to the frames and I don't have enough twings as we say in Sweden. And anyway, here we have the separate Privy 500. I'm using a bucket, regular bucket, and trying out some sizes. Not enough clampers. Gonna move it there. This is a smaller one. Just a bucket. This is a separate one. So again, here I'm gluing away here. Aligning the boards and uh, then you just rub it out and here I'm gonna cut the board just a regular jigsaw and then sanding it down again making a smoother surface so, but still trying to use, to keep the rustic look of the the wood. Again, using nails here, hammering them down. So I'm using both nails and glue. So this is rock solid. It gets it gets a bit a very strong uh, construction. Flatten this one. So these are hinges from uh, pallet collars. You just flatten them and then uh, they get used as r regular hinges. Solid ones. We have holes on one side but uh, have to drill the other side. I'm, uh, Losing it here. There we have it. So, time to drill. Using a cutting oil to save the drill. Otherwise, they get uh, slow, as we say in Swedish. So, here we have them mounted, but now I'm gonna mount them for real. It was just a photo, the other one. So, drilling down them with the tool. And as you can see, here, here we have the jigsaw. Making the hole for the separate. I've used the template to measure it. You get a template with the, the separate when you buy it. I'm Can putting a this. board. This is just a trial out. I will do. You can see the finish. Again, the the top surface there. I'm using scrap wood, so I didn't have a whole board. 
So I'm using three boards and then attaching them on the on the other underside. Everything is recycled except the screws, the nails and the glue. So as you can see it's a plastic mold. It is not glass fiber, this is plastic. And why not measure it instead of just talking? Well you see it's about 30 30 wide. You want I think you want 32 millimeters on the diameter inside of the tube. So first layer of color, window paint, acrylic and I'm gonna paint this side now. I could use uh, I could use an oil paint but uh, I do prefer the acrylic ones since they don't smell but if you're gonna have it outside perhaps you should use uh, oil. These are IKEA brushes the brush is <laughs> it's a brush from IKEA getting a bit torn now but it has been great it's the children brush perhaps a bit small now for this painting but trying to get in between here I'm using this measured plastic container and I'm trying to get it down in between so the lube base has been painted So painted this one greenish and uh, I sort of like this type where it has been uh, you can see on the sides here some I think I'll do try to do more this type so I will use this uh, gray one and let it drip perhaps drip this way and then paint it over and put some white on also time to glue the old pieces from uh, that I saw out here before onto a plywood uh, tabletop using just regular wood limb it's water resistant and to make this work I have to align the plywood to the other board so that it matches of course when I'm gluing it in so I can this will hold the things steady I leave a piece of margin so you can see that it's not that super tight then uh, it will fit better better so this is the final result with a separate on and uh, as you can see I'm using a steel bucket there and uh, it works like a charm if you remove this you see that I have uh, the P bucket here and uh, this bucket you can lift out and then I have a plastic bucket under it. I'm using a small hose here going down to the bucket. You have to adjust it sometimes when you remove it. It's not big. Here you see the configuration from this. I've lifted the lid. So the P bucket is a 5 liter bucket. Plenty of ventilation. So, does it smell? No, not if you cover the feces thoroughly with uh, sawdust. You have to get the air out from it, so you, you cover it with lots of 
sawdust. And here I've used the tabletop. As you can see it's still in, in place because of the, the structures that I showed you earlier. So yeah, you just push it here and you have a tabletop or storage or whatever. So this is a good tool to spray some after using the pea area, keeping it so it doesn't smell.